Well, as you probably know, I, I've never been a big fan of, of the way the short session has, as I say, ramped like this. If you go back to 2012, which was the first official short session after the voters passed ballot measure 71 in 2010. Now, there had been special sessions before, as we all know, but an official short session in 2012. I went back and examined that, and there were, I don't remember how many bills, but there were very few bills, a lot of budget-related bills. And though it never said, and, and I think it's important to clarify, um, there's a lot of talk about, well, that's not what the voters intended. If you go back and look at the ballot measure, it just said, do you want annual sessions, yes or no? It didn't say annual sessions in which we do budgets only. or the, and, and, and then I went back and looked at all of the testimony and all of the documents and whatnot from that 2010 session, I guess it would have been. And I never saw one mention of what the session was to be. It was just annual session. But I think because of the time constraints, naturally people just thought, well, this would just be budget and simple policy bills. So 2012, it was like this. 2014 went a little, and then 2016 shot through the roof, and 2018 and 2020 have just gotten out of hand. So there is no way we can do this kind of legislation and let the public, somebody from Klamath Falls or heck, even Tigard, get here in an hour to testify on a bill that's been amended an hour ago. Um, and so the pace is like nothing I've ever experienced before. But I, I almost feel like every year I say, there can't be a session that was bigger than or harder or tougher or longer than this one. Well, I'm saying it again. This is the this is the craziest session I've been involved in yet. And this is now my, which is hard to believe, sixth session, counting long and short.